Hey, what's going on? It is your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. If you're a first timer here, consider subscribing to the channel and like this video if you appreciate content just like this. This week's video, my top 10 Impact Wrestling pay-per-view matches for 2019. Make sure to hang around to the very end of the video because I've got four honorable mentions. So if your favorite match from 2019 didn't make the cut just might make the honorable mention let's get into the video number 10 eddie edwards versus moose in a street fight at homecoming now this one was a true grudge match that originated with moose turning heel on eddie on an episode of impact during a match with austin aries and killer cross now the heel turn stemmed from eddie failing to check on his best friend moose while in the hospital after being concussed by Austin Aries at Slammiversary 2018. The storyline featured Moose terrorizing Alicia Edwards and Eddie even being checked into a mental asylum. He of course got out. The match itself was an intense brawl featuring a lot of heat on both sides that mainly took place outside of the ring. Eddie Edwards got the victory in this one and had a feel good moment with Alicia Edwards after the match. Number 9, Sammy Callahan vs. Tessa Blanchard at Slammiversary. The story with Tessa and Sammy originated as something small at first when she would come down to the ring to save Scarlett Bordeaux from an attack at the hands of OVE. Now this snowballed into Sammy Callahan having major issues with the knockouts division and it ultimately got extremely personal with Tessa Blanchard specifically. As the tension began to grow for weeks, the challenge was made and accepted where Sammy Callahan would face Tessa Blanchard at Slammiversary. Now, the much talked about intergender match ultimately became the main event and closed the show. At the time, Tessa was booked very well as the underdog and without anybody really knowing what to expect, the match over delivered in a big way with an excellent story being told. Sammy Callahan got the much needed major pay-per-view victory and would go on to feud with Tessa Blanchard for the rest of 2019. Currently, Sammy Callahan is the Impact World Champion who will be defending the title against Tessa at Hard to Kill in January. Number 8, Impact World Champion Brian Cage versus Sammy Callahan. After winning the mashup tournament and the right to face each other, Sammy Callahan defeated Tessa Blanchard for the second time at the Impact Plus Special Unbreakable. Now, by winning the match, Sammy established himself as the number one contender for then champion Brian Cage's world title. The feud got off to a slow start because Creative couldn't break Sammy Callahan away from Tessa Blanchard for a second, but once the build began, some major heat was built between the two stars when Sammy Callahan accidentally hit Melissa Santos in the head with a wine bottle and later delivered the cactus special right in front of a handcuffed Brian Cage. The main event grudge match would end up being one of the best main events in recent Bound for Glories, which capped a really solid pay-per-view for Impact Wrestling. At the end of the night, Brian Cage retained the World Championship and had a post-match celebration with wife Melissa Santos, a celebration that he was not able to have after initially winning the world title from Johnny Impact. Number 7, Mara Fuji vs. Michael Elgin, Bound for Glory. After disposing of his opponent quickly in Mexico City, Michael Elgin laid a challenge out to Marafuji, citing the fact that he had faced and defeated many of Japan's finest but had never been in the ring with Marafuji. The only negative to the match itself once it took place at Bound for Glory was that the crowd was not initially engaged in it. This is likely because the match had no real build and Marafuji was not featured on Impact Television at all leading up to the show, nor was the match even really mentioned much after it was made official. As the bout went on, however, the crowd got into it and Elgin and Marafuji put on a real Matt classic. Michael Elgin vs. Marafuji, despite any kind of real storyline, ended up being one of the best matches at Bound for Glory. The match concluded with Michael Elgin getting the victory. Number 6, X Division Champion Jake Crist vs. Tessa Blanchard vs. Daga vs. Ace Austin vs. AC Romero, X Division Ladder Match, Bound for Glory. The field for the five-way X Division ladder match was set by a series of qualifying matches. Now when Rohit Raju vs Sabu ended in a no contest, Impact Wrestling provided an opportunity at their All Glory event for a relative unknown to fill the final slot. 
AC Romero was selected to enter the match and was also signed by Impact Wrestling. The latter match proved to be entertaining, exciting, and even threw us a curveball when expected winner Tessa Blanchard was pushed off the ladder by eventual surprise winner Ace Austin. After the match, the Triple X division was officially born. Number 5, Impact Tag Team Champions of Lucha Brothers vs LAX Full Metal Mayhem Rebellion. Now this was one of two classic pay-per-view matches put on by the Lucha Brothers and the Latin American Exchange. The Full Metal Mayhem match was their second pay-per-view match and third overall at this point. Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix had previously won the Impact Tag Team Championships in Mexico City in a match that was ill-advised by Conan considering he didn't really want the two teams fighting in the first place. For those who are unfamiliar, Full Metal Mayhem is comparable to tables, ladders, and chairs, the factors in various other weapons made of metal, and is settled by one fall to a finish. The match was extremely innovative, although a bit spotty at times, which is my only criticism and why it's not higher on this list. LAX went into the match as challengers, but left as four-time Impact Tag Team Champions. Number 4, Ultimate X for the Vacant X Division Championship, Rich Swan vs. Jake Chris vs. Trey Miguel vs. Ethan Page, Homecoming. For the return of Ultimate X, the X Division Championship was made vacant after Brian Cage cashed in Option C for an opportunity at the Impact World Championship. Much like the previously mentioned ladder match, the field was set by a series of qualifying matches with perhaps the inclusion of Ethan Page being the most unlikely participant. The match itself was the opener for homecoming and had the crowd rocking early. Despite a few overly choreographed spots, the match delivered on all levels, which was great for fans considering we hadn't seen an Ultimate X match in quite some time. Despite his size, Ethan Page went move for move with Rich Swan, Jake Crist, and Trey, but it was Rich Swan who would come away as the new X Division champ and have one of the best title reigns in years. Number 3, Tessa Blanchard vs. Gail Kim, Rebellion. Impact Wrestling tends to throw the term dream match around quite loosely, but Gail Kim coming out of retirement to face Tessa Blanchard truly was a dream match and possibly the most anticipated match on the entire card. Although most fans knew the end game, the feud had a nice slow build over several months with multiple altercations, but none bigger than Gail Kim costing Tessa her Impact Knockouts Championship when she served as a special guest referee in a match versus Taya Valkyrie at Homecoming. Tessa Blanchard would win the back and forth contest by unexpectedly submitting Gail Kim. The match was not only amazing, but pivotal in the Tessa Blanchard babyface turn, as well as an official passing of the torch from Gail Kim. The two knockouts showed respect to one another after the match, and it was a perfect example of past stars putting over current stars and what it can do for their career. Number 2, Impact Tag Team Champions LAX vs The Lucha Brothers Homecoming. Now this was the first match between the two teams, and it went down as one of the best matches in the tag team division in years. Now over those years, LAX became the MVPs of Impact Wrestling, joining the company when the tag team division was extremely thin and carrying it on their backs. LAX would go on to have good feuds with OVE and the OGs, but it wasn't until the Lucha Bros came to Impact that they would have a team equal to their in-ring abilities and popularity. This would be the first of a series of matches between the two all-star teams, but none of their matches would equal their initial one at Homecoming that managed to be even better than anyone could expect. LAX would leave Homecoming with their tag team titles intact. Number 1 Impact World Champion Brian Cage vs Michael Elgin Slammiversary Typically when it comes to fantasy booking, fans have general ideas on who they think are going to win a match. But with Brian Cage vs Michael Elgin, most fans had no idea who was going to win. There was an additional intrigue because Brian Cage was rumored to still be wrestling injured and Michael Elgin was still fairly new to the company and hadn't wrestled any big matches yet. Creatively, fans couldn't decide what was more likely, Brian Cage losing his newly won world title or Michael Elgin losing his first big match on pay per view. All this being said, the match surprised Impact Wrestling fans with being one of the best heavyweight wrestling matches Impact has ever put on. The match had no shortage of power moves, high flying moves, and near falls. After the match, Brian Cage was the one with his hand raised and the Impact World Title in tow. Cage vs Elgin at Slammiversary is my number one match of the year.